గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్కూల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సమగ్ర శిక్షణ సిద్ధిపేట్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ డిజిటల్ క్లాసెస్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ నైన్త్ క్లాస్ ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ మ్యాట్ ఆఫ్ ప్యూర్ సెపరేటింగ్ ద కాంపోనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏ మిక్చర్ ఇన్ దట్ పేపర్ క్రమటోగ్రఫి ల్యాబ్ యాక్టివిటీ the learning objectives for this uh, lab activity the children are able to understand various separating techniques for separating of components of mixture to find the best method for separation of components of a given mixture the students appreciate the components of mixture can be separated using special methods of separations the students will be able to understand the process of chromatography and illustrate the process of chromatography to separate components of dyes like ink separating the components of a mixture we have learned that most of the natural substances are not chemically pure different methods of separation are used to get individual components from a mixture separation takes separation makes it possible to study and use the individual components of a mixture heterogeneous mixtures can be separated into their respective constituents by simple physical methods like hand picking sieving filtration that we use in our day to day life sometimes special techniques have to be used for the separation of the components of a mixture how can we separate a solvent from its solute if the solvent is volatile we can separate the volatile solvent component from its non volatile solute by the method of evaporation evaporation is the process of vaporization of a liquid below its boiling point how can we separate a mixture of two immiscible liquids by using the principle of separating funnel the dirt immiscible liquids separate out separating funnel the immiscible liquids in the separating funnel the immiscible liquids forms different layers based on their relative densities the principle of separating funnel is that immiscible liquids separate out in layers depending on their densities easily separation will takes place by using separating funnel next how can we separate a sublimable volatile component from a non sublimable impurity by using method of sublimation some examples of solids which sublime are ammonium chloride camphor naphthalene and anthracene these are some examples of sublimable solids sublimation is a physical phase transition directly from solid state into vapor state so the mixture of 
ammonium chloride and sodium chloride ammonium chloride is sublimable sodium chloride non sublimable this mixture can be easily separated by applying sublimation technique how can we separate a mixture of miscible components using the chromatography technique the miscible components can also be separated so let us discuss more about chromatography technique what is chromatography and also we will discuss the lab activity of paper chromatography what is chromatography chromatography is a special technique that separates components of a mixture by using the differential affinities of the components for a mobile phase and for a stationary absorbing phase through which they pass the chromatography is a technique used for the separation of those solutes that dissolve in the same solvent separation of components takes place based on ability of each component to be drawn across the surface of another material such as filter paper silica gel alumina etc usually the mixtures are in liquid states and separation drawn across the specially designed filter paper separation occurs because various components travel at different rates the components with strongest attraction with filter paper travels with the slowest speed let us discuss the lab activity of paper chromatography aim separating the components of ink using paper chromatography materials required beaker rectangular shaped filter paper marker pen water pencil or pen and cello tape these are the materials are required very simple materials using of simple materials uh, we are able to do paper chromatography lab activity procedure for this lab activity take a watman filter paper and cut it as a rectangular strip draw a thick line just above the bottom of the filter paper strip using the marker pour some water in the beaker and suspend the filter paper vertically in the water in such a way that the thick line remains about 1 cm above the solvent level close the beaker with a lid and keep it undisturbed draw the line thick line on filter paper and keep the filter paper in the beaker and make it hang vertically do not allow to curl stick the filter paper with the cello tape that makes it stable hanging and cover the beaker with the paper lid to make it undisturbed and here 
the solvent water rises up due to capillary forces the rising of a solvent makes wet of the ink of the marker and the components in the ink of that marker also rises up along with the water the ink component particles which are adsorbs with more attraction force stick and that component slowly rises and the ink components which adsorb with a weak attractions so those can rise fastly that makes differential rates of we will notice that the rising solvent along with the different colorings after the solvent has risen about 10 cm you will notice two different colors on the filter paper at different levels from bottom of the filter paper now take the filter paper out of the beaker and using a pencil mark the distance that the solvent has risen on the paper this is called solvent front so we will observe here the rising of different components of ink uh, the growing of chromatogram so here uh, slowly rising step by step so like this the separation of pigments are observed on the filter paper so dry the filter paper and put pencil mark at the center of the different ink spots measure the distance of different spots from the original line and the distance of the solvent from the original line so this is uh, useful for calculating the retardation factor of the components which is one of the characteristic properties of each and every component now let us discuss what precautions we have to take while conducting this activity do not allow the spot or the original line to dip in the solvent allow the spot or original line to dry before putting the strip in the beaker keep the strip erect do not let it cool keep the jar or beaker undisturbed this makes neat growing of chromatogram the better separation we will be observe so the chromatogram this is the chromatogram the dried filter paper now we will discuss this up to this level from this original line this is original line from this original line up to this level the solvent has risen solvent front this is known as solvent front from this original line to solvent uh, risen distance is known as solvent front so blue color pink component pink color component brown color component the original line So retardation factor or value equal to 
the ratio of distance traveled by the component from the original line by distance traveled by the solvent from the original line about this retardation factor you will learn in your future classes now what happens when you use permanent marker instead of a temporary non permanent marker so permanent marker the ink components are strongly adsorbed over the filter paper so they do not rise along with the solvent the components do not rise along with the solvent that's why the separation is difficult what changes will takes place if draw a thin line on filter paper so if the line is very broad there is a less separation we we'll observe if the line is a fine and thin the better separation of a color pigments will observe is chromatography used only to separate components of colored compounds the chromatography technique widely used in various applications are there not only colored but also colorless compounds can also separate by using this chromatography applications of chromatography chromatography used by scientist to analyze a mixture and what components are present in that mixture and how these components are having interactions with one another and also to identify to determine identity of a mixture and uh, some known compounds identification to purify and separation of components in order to isolate one of interest for further study to purify separation of impurities makes purity and to quantify so determine the amount of mixture and other components present in the sample so by using this chromatography uh, it is also possible to quantify how much impurity may present estimation of Uh, components in the mixture can also be done by using this chromatography technique thank you